Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships' captains still have power, in peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Kurian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. 
Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Barrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me? If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. 
and because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute.
like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Garrel tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hull was the only damage we did. Well, I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No. It was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. What about the other Admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. Found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're clear to board. so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? Wouldn't find one in your size. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Yes, 
throwing their lives away. Network intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. Disable their shields. And don't give them time to recharge. Garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. The Dreadnought Operation Center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The Hunters are moving in! is operational. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Doors. 